It's a common trope to be battling against a horde of zombies as a normal person in video games, whether it's by fighting them with guns, magic, or gardening. You usually aren't battling a horde of normal people though as a zombie, but that's what you do when you play as Koreji Ollie in Hollow Cure. Ollie's basic weapon, Path of Sincerity, is a single sword slash in front of her. The slash is very straight, making it more akin to Gura's trident thrust than say, Kali's scythe swing. At level 7, she not only does the slash, but also throws the actual sword in front of her, which spins around and boomerangs back to her, damaging enemies. Her special attack, Charge Rifle, shoots a yellow laser beam that she can aim. It fires for a short while before firing a second, larger beam, whose size and damage increases based on how many targets she hit with the first beam. I'd find it more useful if it weren't for the fact that aiming the beam is an absolute pain. The beam has a pretty substantial latency in its aim, meaning if you want to aim it in the opposite direction of where it's currently shooting, it's going to have to turn very slowly, probably firing the second beam before you can even get it to where you need to aim. So try to already be aiming where you have to before using it. Ollie's first skill, Zombie Ninjutsu, is probably one of my favorite skills by virtue of how much depth there is to it. As Ollie moves, she charges up this chakra bar, and when she stops moving for one second, she releases a chakra based on how much of her chakra bar she's filled up, using up all of the chakra. At 25%, she creates a giant flame near her, burning enemies that get caught in it. At 50%, she creates a ring of bubbles that spin around her while also creating a bubble shield around her that heals her. At 75%, she shoots boulders in random directions, damaging and knocking back enemies. At full charge, she creates lightning that damages all enemies on the screen, stunning any enemies that don't die in the attack. While the optimal method is most likely just using the lightning chakra, the earth chakra is useful for getting enemies away from you if you don't have the lightning chakra up yet, and the water chakra can be used to heal her, which is actually really useful because Ollie almost always will be hemorrhaging health. Her second skill, Simp of All Time, makes it so that targets drop hololive merch bags. When Ollie picks up a merch bag, she'll lose some of her health but gain a boost to her haste and speed as a result. The health will heal back in a little bit and you can't accidentally pick up too many bags at once since the bags are like Fauna saplings and not affected by pickup range, and unlike her saplings, they won't suddenly start moving towards her after a while. I also don't think it's possible to kill yourself from the damage caused by a merch bag, as it seems it just sets your health to 1 if your health is too low. So fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on who you are, death by simping is not possible. Though getting your health that low will have dire consequences when the enemies get you. Fortunately, her last skill can mitigate that. Ollie's last skill, Undead, makes it so that when Ollie's health hits 0, she will gain an undead buff where she can't die for a few seconds. After that, there will be a 10 second window where the buff can't be activated as well as a minute long window where her health will be halved for a minute. In that minute, it's possible to activate Undead again, meaning your health can be halved even more if it has already been halved. This skill gives Ollie a very high level of survivability, but relying it on too much will whittle your health down by a significant margin, so it's better not to rely on it too much. If you want to utilize Simp of All Time in Undead, you'll need a large health pool to mitigate the health loss incurred from her skills. As such, things to increase her health like Band-Aid and Jinkisukan will be useful on Ollie. I'd recommend Piki Piki Pimon, but I'm not sure if the damage boost from it is affected by Undead halving Ollie's health. I'd also recommend avoiding Lab Coat, since Ollie will almost never be at full health thanks to Simp of All Time, meaning Lab Coat will never reach its full potential. I would personally recommend a defensive item like Plushy as well, since Plushy's DK can mitigate the issues of having a low health pool that come from relying on Undead. So that's Ollie. She's a fun character to play, especially her zombie ninjutsu skill. Thanks for watching. Please let me know which character you'd like to see next in the comment section. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos, and happy holocuring. Thank you.